Hi there, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver in the hair industry, even though it doesn't look like it today. I'm out in the Van Gogh room, my alma mater, which is just half of a woodshed in my backyard. We're going to do a couple product reviews today. We're going to do Goon Grooming, G-O-O-N, Goon Grooming, and also I'm going to be firing up, it's kind of like a combo, and I'm going to put links to everything down below. I'm firing up bluegrass. This is from the pipenook.com. We did a, an initial tin opening with the Sultris, but this is a, a steady rhythm of bright and red Virginias joined by an accompaniment of robust parique and dark-fired Kentucky making for a spicy little ditty. Sure to keep you on your toes. So we're going to fire that up. Uh, actually, before we do that, we are kind of multitasking today. Um... Uh, when Mike Rizzo told me about putting Baileys in coffee, I went to get some Baileys. I was like having some Baileys on hand, but I didn't have it. I went there, and believe it or not, the liquor store was out of Baileys. So I ended up getting this right here, this rum chata stuff. And they're like giant creamers, but inside here is something... It it almost tastes like Baileys. That's honestly, that's the first time I had it. It was like having Baileys. So I made myself a cup of... Scottish breakfast tea, and I'm going to put that in there. Just give me a second here, and we'll start the reviews, but I want to be able to have something hot to sip on. It's very, very cold out right now. All right. I put one in. I'm going to put two in, just for ha-has. And I'm working from home today. So you just open these up like this, and you put it in the tea. So let's see. Stir that with a chopstick because I stir everything with a chopstick. It's much quieter that way. Let's take a quick sip. Oh baby. Wow. Wow. Mm. I've had it in coffee but I never had it in tea and this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Rum chata. You can probably get that in your liquor store. Let me just sh show that to you. These little mini shots. I don't mean to be sipping, slurping while we are setting up. Uh, bluegrass tobacco available at the Pipe Nook. Kind of a brokenish flake. Very thick. I think I'm just going to pack it, just kind of stuff it the way it is, and not rub it out. And then we're going to get into goon grooming. I usually rub things out, and then I read in the reviews where guys will just, like, fold and stuff, or fold and pack, you know, whatever. And my experience is that you you have different different smoking experiences with with different uh, tobaccos and the way that they're rubbed out. He said rubbed out. Definitely getting the uh, Virginia. Oh, there's the Perique. It just snuck up on me. That was interesting how that happened. The Perique just kind of like is like a little spicy thing for you guys who don't know what Perique is. It's a fermented tobacco made in Louisiana and I believe St. James Parish, what we call counties here in Pennsylvania. They call parishes. Same thing, county, parish. <laughs> Definitely a vapor. Vapor, spelled V-A-P-E-R for Virginia and Perique.
I like it. How perfect for a cold, rainy day, man. Wow. It's almost like I have some for cold, snowy days, some just for cold days, and some for cold, rainy days. And this is an icy day. A lot of uh, closings because of the... Uh, there's a coating of ice on everything, and I almost fell on my bottom coming out here today. Wow, what a nice vapor. Called Bluegrass by Cornell and Deal. Let me just tamp it. Fire it one more time. I didn't let it dry. How nice. I will be ordering this again. Certain things I won't be ordering again, but I will let you know with the ones that I do order again, something that I think is worth getting. It's the same thing with coffees and such. Parique is not real forward. It's just more of a... You know how some people say... You know, would you like a hamburger with your ketchup? You know, when they put ketchup or mustard or various condiment types of things on their food. The It's not, this is not like a bowl of Perique. It's actually a bowl of bright Virginias. I'm getting a nice, beautiful, aged Virginia vibe. And of course, I'm smoking it in the Saltinelli which you can get at the Pipe Nook. I'll put the link down below for that. Parik might be my new icy weather drink. And the Latakia blends are for snowy and cold weather. You have to try this rum chata, holy cow. Yummy. Mm. All right, so let's take a look at goon grooming. And the link, oops, sorry about that. And the links for everything are gonna be down below. We have quite a substantial box here. And I'll show you all the products in here and the aromas are popping out. Look at that. I took all the bubble wrap off everything so I can just go through stuff and not spend time undoing bubble wrap, but uh, thank you for your interest in our products. We are veteran owned and operated, uh, focusing on quality products and affordability. As we grow, we're always improving our products and creating new ones. Our goal is to provide a product for every kind of individual. We hope you make goon grooming a part of your daily routine and help us spread the word that grooming products don't have to break the bank to be effective. Sincerely, sincerely, Corey Wiley, owner of Goon Grooming. And I have beard balms, beard oils, beard and face soap pucks, and Eau de Goon <laughs> fragrance spray. So let's just take a look at a few of these things here. I always ask people to send a couple, a couple different things. Um, two of everything. One to open up and do you know the box openings and so forth and then one to give away to clients as well. So that's one of the things that happens when you sit in the chill chair. Nine times out of 10, you're getting a, a sample of something that I've, that I've received as well. Oh, it's actually a puck. Swell son of a gun. It looks like a hockey puck now, doesn't it? Smells beautiful. And believe it or not, this particular one is called Salton. I like that. I'm digging I'm digging the fragrance. I can't quite figure out what the fragrance is. So let's see if it's listed here. Woodsy and spicy patchouli. That's very nice. I like the fact that it's a black puck. I like that. Which means that there's a, a charcoal in there and a, kind of a, a cleansing element, a purifying element in there when there's charcoal and stuff. So 
So never be afraid of black soaps if you have if you have a um, a white beard or a lighter beard. Don't be afraid of that. They're not going to impart color to your uh, to your beard. You can take a screenshot of this and a screenshot of this. And the website is, uh, well, you go to facebook.com, Goon Grooming, G O O N, Goon Grooming Co. on Facebook. Instagram, it's Goon underscore, underscore Grooming. And, and it's got a mustache and beard for a logo. It looks like we have some sprays. Oh, de goon. This one is called Five Hole. Let me just take a whiff. Nice. Very nice. Let's see. That's smoky sandalwood and vanilla right down the middle. I like that. Let's look at some other things here. The the bombs come in almost like a tin, almost like a mint tin, different than what other people have done. It's kind of a, I would say, a muted, brushed look. It's not shiny. This is my first time opening this. Wow, look at that. And I don't know what the price points are. And that's how I do business. I evaluate quality and not price. Let's see how hard this is. Now I'm outside, so probably had a chance to harden up a little bit more. Oh, I really like that. This one's called Gino, and Gino is citrus fields covered in pineapple and lavender. Very nice. And the, oh, it's soft, firm, firm, but still soft enough to scrape without a lot of effort. I like that. Nice, very nice. The smell is wonderful. I really like that one. Uh, this one is called Dinger. It's a beard balm called Dinger. Beeswax. And this is peppered pipe tobacco with notes of honey and amber. Well, that's going to be interesting. So let's just try that real quick. Mm, I like that. Let me just put some of that on real quick. I am unplugged today, which means when I got out of the shower today, I put nothing on except moisturizer on my skin. I didn't do anything on the beard because I knew I was going to do this review today. Mm. Mm -mm. This would be one of those that um, when people get close enough to you, they could smell it. It's nice. It's very nice. Peppered pipe tobacco. And then, of course, you never, ever waste it by wiping it on a towel. Always just put it on your skin. And in the wintertime, obviously, that's going to be a good move for you to help moisturize. Very good. The beard oils. Lots of beard oils. The four fragrances are Dinger, which is peppered pipe tobacco with notes of honey and amber, Gino, which is citrus fields covered in pineapple and lavender, Silky Mitts, refreshing white tea with a touch of effervescent mints. And then Rookie, which is Oceanic Musk. Well, I'll tell you what, Corey, you did a great job. What a nice quality. The, your branding is nice. The balms are 2.4 ounces. I like the, the rectangular tin. And it's a hinged tin as opposed to something that pulls off. That's different. It's unique. I think for darker beards, I think this would be perfect. For the lighter beards, um, I, t I tend, personally tend to go to the lighter uh, balm, the lighter colored balms for because of the white beard, but I only represent 
probably 10% of the beard population with the white beard. All of the oils come in dropper bottles. And these are all one ounce bottles. I'm going to put links to everything down below. I like the fact that it's veteran owned and operated. Well done, Corey. Good job. All right, folks, it's time for me to fire the pipe back up and drink my, my rum chata and Scottish tea. I hope you enjoyed that review, and I'm going to put links to everything down below, like I usually do. The links to, excuse me one second, where did my lighter go? I'll have to use the one on the toker poker. Ah, there we go. This was the day that I paired a Perique of Vapor Virginia Perique blend with ice. I don't know why. Cheers, everybody. Check out the links below.